me and them Melly in the building. What's going on, man? You know it's me, man. You know it's me. You know it's me. You know. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all, man. Me and them Melly in the building, bro. Man. One of the things that I've learned that really changed my life is really just building strict habits and building discipline. When you build discipline, when you stick to your 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 your, your schedule, when you when you write you out a plan and you stick to it, if you say, look, I'm gonna get up every morning at 6 a.m pray i'm gonna get up i'm gonna meditate i'm gonna listen to my motivation i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna take cold showers i'm gonna practice not having sex i'm gonna practice eating the right food you know what i mean i'm gonna work out i'm gonna read i'm gonna do when you tell yourself these things and you actually start to apply it you can almost instantly see a change in your life and when you say you want to commit to something and you start to build discipline around it, that's when God will reward you. That's when the universe will give you exactly what you want, exactly what you're asking for. You will receive it. Just like just like the Bible tell you, you ask and you shall receive. Some of the things that y'all asking for, y'all not ready for. That's why y'all don't get it. Y'all know how long, bro, I've been saying I was going to get my get me an apartment, move out my my parents' house, get my own. I've been saying that since 2019, bro. I've been saying that since 2019. I've been asking for that since 2019. And it's just now happening for me. But it's not like it's just now happening for me. Oh, boom. No, I had to I had to work for it. I had to get disciplined. I had to buckle down. I had to get serious. Like last year it was probably the most disciplined I've ever been when it came to sex, when it came to like uh just trying to save my money. I wasn't even making money like that for real, bro. I was grinding. You know what I mean? At one point, I ain't have no job. I was just doing DoorDash. You feel me? Trying to make a hundred a day off Door off DoorDash. Some days making eighty a day. You feel me? Seventy, sixty, like. But I just kept at it. You feel me? I still had bills and stuff I had to pay. I ain't make no excuses, bro. If you got two hands and two feet and a head on your shoulders, bro, there's no excuses, bro. Why you should be out here? not on the grind bro i don't want to hear it like people be telling me all these reasons bro why they not where they at i hate i hate that i hate that bro i hate that shit because i've been there before you know what i mean like i've been to the point where i ain't have shit i ain't have shit but i just kept on grinding i knew i had two feet every time i woke up so guess what i did i went i, I put i put my shit in motion you feel me? I remember when I was in college, bro. I ain't had no job. I ain't, you know what I mean? My folks wasn't sending me no money, nothing, nothing like that, bro. So I had to, I had to grind just to get it. Yeah, I already lived it. I motivate myself, bitch. I'm self-driven. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I, I picked up that camera, bro, and the rest was history. I started out just doing thirty-five dollars shoots. Damn, I know if I do $35 a shoot, you know, that's that's probably the last me two, three days. I can go get some, get some, you know what I mean, get some food, put some food in my dorm. Might have a little extra over for gas. Damn, I cap another shoot. Okay, damn, that's another 35. Started actually taking the craft serious. See, people don't know, like, I didn't even, for those that know, I do videography and stuff. Y'all can go check out my videos and stuff on this channel. 
I did I did photography for a hustle. I didn't that was never something that I really was passionate about. That's something I had to do. Like I had to do it. I had to do that. Then I start upping the price. I started getting good. You know what I mean? I started upping the math. Fifty dollar shoes. Damn, if I do two shoots, one shoot is an hour. I do about three shoots a day. That's one fifty a day. In three hours. That's fifty dollars an hour. You feel me? Like I'm 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 doing it like that. Got better with the crowd, cause I never really I did it for a hustle, but at the same time, I, I, I move with integrity. So I wasn't just charging people hella money just just to, for some pictures. Like, I had to wait until I, you know what I mean, exercise my craft, got better. And then I kept upping the price. $100 a shoot. $120 graduation shoot. Three graduation shoots in one day. Like real shit, y'all think I'm bullshitting. Four hundred dollars in a day. Oh, a wedding over here. Five hundred dollars in a day. Only spent three hours at the wedding. Making that money, bro. But I had to get it. I motivate myself. I'm self-driven. Too much money in this world. Ain't no competition, man. That's that. Uh, damn, who song that is? Look, I'm gonna say Lil Lil Lonnie. Bro, had passed. If I'm saying his name right, I'll put it in the comments. That's my shit. I'ma listen to this. Listen to him when I when I get off of this. One thing I never seen was a I need all I need is money, blue and green. You know what I mean? But back to the subject. I had to get disciplined, bro. To to in order for me to receive the blessings that I thought I deserve, I didn't get anything I thought I deserved. Until I showed God that I was ready for it. And sometimes, sometimes we get things that we ain't ready for and we lose it. I'm not telling you that, oh, because you're not disciplined or because you're not focused or, you know what I mean? You're not doing all these things that you won't get what you want. You'll get what you want because it's the law of the world. You ask and you shall receive. But this is why they say, be careful for what you ask for. Be careful for what you ask for. Just because you want it and you asking for it and you get it doesn't mean it's for you. Understand that. I'm telling y'all, bro. Understand that. Understand this world. Once you start understanding the laws of the universe, the word law and Lord is the same word. It's the same. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So when you obeying the laws of the universe, you're obeying the Lord. You're obeying yourself. You have a Lord in you. You have God in you. But a lot of y'all don't tap into the God in you. You know what I mean? You just operate as a physical man. You don't operate as your God self, as your Christ conscious self. You don't operate as that. When you start to operate as that and you begin to move discipline, then you will get everything that's for you. And it won't feel forced. It'll literally just kind of like fall in your lap. You know what I mean? What's for you is for you. What's not for you, you would never have. And that's what I live by. I told y'all that on the video yesterday. If I don't get it, it ain't for me. Coffee cup, one of my co co-workers brought for me. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm trying to tell y'all is that I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not no way, shape, and form perfect, bro. Who is perfect? Nobody's perfect, bro. I, that's not my goal. My goal is to not be perfect, bro. My goal is to never be perfect. I never want to be perfect. My goal is to know who I am and know what I want in life 
and discipline myself to having. If I fall or if I slip along the way, that's okay as long as I get back up. As long as I get back up. When I when I did, when I said I was gonna do the 90 day semen retention challenge, I didn't go all 90 days. I slipped, you know what I mean? Temptation, temptation, bro. But I attempted and I kept going. Even when I slipped, I still got back up. You know what? Let me start back over. Let me keep going. That's what it's about. And when God see you doing that, that's when them doors really gonna open for you, bro. When he see you, when God see you fall and get back up and still have that faith, you won then. You won. See, a lot of people get knocked down and they lose faith every time they get knocked down. I swear to you, last year was a testimony a test to my faith because every time I got knocked back, knocked down, I had to sit there and say, damn, do I keep going or do I just give up? I kept going every time because I knew the higher power was, was watching me, was guiding me, you know what I mean? And I knew my God conscious, I knew that what I think will happen. What I meditate on night and day will happen. What I put my time and attention to will grow. It will happen. Like now, I want a new car, bro. And I'm not even really a materialistic person. I just feel like it's time for me to get a new car, bro. You ever just felt like, bro, I just need some new shit. It's like when you got clothes, old clothes that you've been wearing for a long time. You're like, damn, I need some, I need some new shit. But, you know, it's going to take time. But I got to be ready for it. I got to be disciplined for it. You know what I mean? I got to start planning now if I want a new car. Go ahead and get disciplined, bro. But, man, that's the video today, man. If you want God to bless you, if you have dreams and desires that you want, get focused on your goals and do what it takes do what it takes in order for you to reach the things that you want. Stop just saying you want this and want that, but not putting in the work to get it. Because like I said, you may not even put in the work. You may not even get disciplined to, to have the goals. You still might even achieve the things you want. But that don't mean it's for you. Everything you want You may get it, but that don't mean you need it. And that shit can change your life. You 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 going hard and you want this car. You want this car so bad, but you ain't living righteous. You doing all this weird shit to get this car, and you finally get the car that you've been wanting. And then a week or two, a month later, you get in a fucking life changing accident in that car. That just how the world works. That just how it go. That's the law of nature. The energy you put out is what you get back. Understand that. Get disciplined, y'all. Get focused. This fucking month is going by fast. It's already damn near February. We got fucking eleven more months left. Y'all either with me or y'all ain't, bro. Me and Emily in the building. I'm gone, man.